Hey guys, it's Melanie. Sorry, I'm looking a little crusty right now. I just just want to get this video up for you guys, okay? It's fine. It's fine. This was a very requested video. I post like a lot of photos with my accessories and stuff. I always wear all these bracelets and you guys are asking how I make them. So that's what I'm showing you guys today. There's like a lot of different types and stuff and I can't fit all of that in a video. So I was like, we're just going to start off with the um, core basics this is how i learned basically i think i learned at like a girl scouts camp or something i'm not really sure i think bracelets are super fun i honestly i just make bracelets for myself because don't have friends so you know but uh yeah just keep watching if you guys want to see how i make these and if you want to see some of the more complex higher level advanced techniques just let me know. Today, I'm gonna show you guys three basic patterns. And yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's all practice. I started off pretty bad myself, but now... I'm a bit of an expert, not gonna lie. Let's get started with this video. So these are some of the bracelets that I've made. This isn't all of them. Ew, a hair. Um, this isn't all of them. These are just some of the different patterns that I wanted to show you guys. Some of them are more complicated and some of them are more simple. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the simpler ones today. To begin with the supplies, all you basically need is some string. I have this little kit that I honestly got back when I was probably like 8, 10. I, I don't know. I've had this for a long time. You can get all these different strings in like singles. You can also get bigger patterns of string so for all of these designs i'm not giving you guys measurements just because the amount of string you use depends on like how big you want the bracelet to be just for reference i usually use about an arm's length from the end of my fingertips to my shoulder and then i double that so the first thing you're gonna do for this design is choose some string you can use as many colors as you want but for all of these examples today i'm going to be using three colors to make it simple basically if you use more string or more colors your bracelet is going to be thicker in width you're also going to be needing scissors and i recommend having tape first thing i'm going to measure out the amount of string that i need so now that i have my string i just fold it over so that there's basically two of each color like so and then I'm gonna tie a little knot at the top. There are different ways to end or start your friendship bracelet, but this way I just found was easiest for me. This is how I was taught, so it's basically just how I always do it. So now that you have this, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little so that you can see a little better, but basically I'm just gonna take some tape and tape it down um, just to keep it in place. Alright, so don't mind my nails, they're very ugly, but now that you guys are zoomed in, making any of these bracelets is based on the same technique, I guess. So once you get the hold of that, it's just patterning and like which color you use to get different designs. But basically what this whole thing is based off is making like a four shape, which is how I was taught. So you're going to take one string, which you can see I have this white one right here, and then you're going to all keep the rest of them together. And this one string, you're going to make a four like that and then you're going to tuck it under and pull it through so basically you're just tying a knot around it and pulling it up and then you're just going to do the same exact thing over and over again with the same white string and basically what's going to happen you're going to see once you start doing that many many times and since i've done this a lot i can do it pretty quick um, but once you've done that a lot, on its own, it starts to create this little spiral around here that actually looks really, really cool. So I've tied, I have no clue how many, but as you can see, the spiral is starting to form and it looks pretty cool. You can do this for as long as you want. It'll just be like a longer piece of white or smaller piece. It's basically up to you. So now that this is as long as I want it to be, I'm going to switch off to the next color. Basically, how you do that is you just take any string from here. So I'm going to take green because I want green to be the next color. And then I'm adding this white one back into the bunch. And basically, all I'm going to do now is tie these knots using the green string. Oopsies. That's pretty much it. So 
I'm just gonna show you guys how I end this and I end all my bracelets the same way So just for the sake of time, I'm only gonna show you on this one All I do is once I get to the end, I just do a normal braid And then once it's like a couple of inches, I'll just tie it and then I just cut off the end that is what I would say is the easiest bracelet. Okay, so this one is the next step up in difficulty. Kind of just like a diagonal design. What you're going to want to start off by doing is kind of sorting out the colors. Like what order you want them to go into. Go orange, white, blue. Then what you're going to do is using the same method of tying the like four shape knot. You're going to take your first string right here. You're gonna make a little four and then tie it around the first one and pull it all the way up. And you're gonna do that twice. So I'm gonna tie another four around the white string. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna move on to the next string, which is the blue one right here and tie a knot and then tie another one and then just go down the line. So I've done one full row, so that's kind of like my one stripe of orange. Then I'm just going to go um, over here and start with white. And now this is the string I'm going to be tying the fours with. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the orange, just going down the line and tying two knots on each string. So basically you're just gonna keep on doing that same thing once you do one stripe you're gonna go back over take the leftmost string color and then you're gonna tie two knots along each string a few rows you can kind of see it start to turn out and what it's gonna look like this one it looks kind of cool because it got all curly like that I feel like a real beauty guru holding up my friendship bracelets like this this is what this one looks like this one's just a nice plain diagonal and then I tied it the same way, braided the end and tied a knot. Now for the most difficult of these basic designs, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a chevron. The difference starting here is when I separate my strands. Instead of making it color 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, it's going to be color 1 here, 1 here, 2 here, 2 here, and 3 here, 3 here. I'm going to put pink on the outside and then purple second then magenta is in the center you're still going to be using the four shape pattern the only difference is on this side you're going to do it backwards start off on either side take the outside color and do the four shape and you're going to go and do the same two knots and then two knots again on the next color once you've done those two you're going to go over to the other side Take that pink and then instead of doing a four this way, you're gonna make your four backwards this way. So basically you're gonna be going like this, making a four this way and then pulling it through like that and doing two knots there. So again, you're gonna be making a four like that and then bringing it under. And then once you've done that, you're gonna do the same thing on the next two strings. Two knots here. And then you're also going to do two knots on the pink one just to make sure that it's like tied together if that makes sense. And once you've done that, that is your first chevron. And you're going to do the same thing with purple and then magenta and then you're just going to keep repeating that. It doesn't really matter which side you start with so I'm going to start with the left side just because get it over with because I don't like the left side. But I'm just going to do two knots and it's backwards. Then go on to the next string, two knots again, and then go on to the other side, do it the normal way, go on to the next string, and then tie the two purple ones together in the center. And that's pretty much it.
So you can start to see the chevron pattern kind of forming here. This pattern usually takes about the same amount of time as the diagonal one does. This takes a little bit more brain power, I guess, because you kind of have to think about switching. And once you get the hang of doing this, it really isn't that bad and it's kind of mindless. This is what this one looks like. Look how adorable that is. Really like the chevron pattern. It's one of my faves. All right, guys, that is how to make these three very basic designs. Be sure to send me your photos if you made some cute bracelets. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that I explained it well because I'm actually a terrible teacher. Very, very bad at explaining stuff. So hopefully this made sense for you. If it didn't, I'm really sorry. Nonetheless, I hope that you enjoyed this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to let me know if you want to see other friendship bracelet videos or DIY stuff. See you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. I'm in a mood. Look at my eyelash. I look like spiders. Ah. 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 Okay, bye.